Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, Mr. Sagat. Good afternoon to my classmate. Good afternoon. Yeah. My name is uh, Ricky. Today I'm going to present about matters. Allow me to do a simple introduction. All matters are made up of atoms. And atoms uh, may be subdivided into protons, neutrons, and electrons. <laughs> a molecule is made up of more than two atoms to form a microscopic properties. Anyone know what is microscopic properties? No. You know? Okay. No. <laughs> you can see this, right? Yeah. This is the microscopic properties. So, so which means by you can see by your naked eyes. Okay? Oh. Oh. This all this thing? Related by chemical bond. I will show you a video about a basic ideas of uh, atoms of an atoms. Sorry, 
basically, it just uh, explains about the basic ideas of the atoms. So it's just like uh, proton, neutrons, and electrons in it. Yeah. Okay. The center of the of an atom, which contain proton and neutron, is called nucleus. The protons have a minute positive charge, and neutron is a neutrally charged, without any charge, neutral. Okay. Nucleus is surrounded by a negative charge. Uh, uh, it's called electrons. Okay. Where it travels in a fixed orbit, that is uh, suggested by the Niels Bohr uh, theory. Okay. All the electron shells held together by an electrostatic force. As the shell go closer to the nucleus, the electrostatic attraction will be stronger, and vice versa. It means that if the electric electron shell is further, the electrostatic attraction will be uh, lesser. Okay, will be uh, weaker. <coughs> okay, an ion is formed when there is a positive. Uh, Charge and negative charge are. I'm sorry. Uh, is uh, the ion form when there is a gain of electron or loses uh, of electron means a positive and negative charge. Okay. For example, when an uh, atom uh, loses uh, an electron, means become positive charge one. Okay. Okay. The valence of an atom is related to the ability to of an atom to enter into a chemical uh, combination with other elements. This can be determined by the number of the outermost uh, level, number of electron in the outermost level, where the binding energy is least. This is called valence electron. Okay, valence shell. Sorry, valence shell. Okay, the valence uh, shells are often known as S or P. What is uh, S or P? That is, uh, the, that's, uh, we can learn it from the Azi Mato quantum numbers principle that we just learned it from last week from uh, Mr. Saikat. Okay, so if you want to know more about the Azi Mato uh, quantum number, you have to go back and do your own revision. Okay. Okay, the total number of the electron in the uh, shell S and P. Uh, or P uh, is uh, known as a uh, valence uh, electron, number of valence electron. This is the example, the outermost level. This is the valence electron, okay? Okay, I'm not going to explain about the metallic uh, bonding, okay? So uh, I'm going to touch a little bit about the ionic bond and covalent bond. Okay, before that, we have to know what is the reason that chemical bonds occurs. Chemical bond occurs to get a stable number of valence electron for an atom, which is duplet number or octet, two or eight. You have to achieve that number to become a stable atom. <coughs> okay. Ionic bond is a type of chemical bonding that involves uh, electrostatic uh, attraction of the opposite charge ion. You have to be. Uh, an ionic bond is a chemical bonding uh, that must involve the opposite charge ions. Those atoms that uh, loses electron is known as cations, which is a positive charge. And those atoms, uh, and those atoms uh, that gain electron is called anions, uh, which is a uh, negative charge. <coughs> In this process, uh, normally cations is a metal atoms, while the anions is a non-metal atoms. <coughs> this process occurs when the cation is donating electrons to the anions. 
this is the example. Atom with spare electron will donate the extra electron to the uh, another atoms that needed uh, electron to become stable. So here they achieve the oct octate number. Okay, covalent bond is a type of uh, chemical bond that involves a sharing of electrons. Pair between atoms. <laughs> These electron pairs are known as uh, share pairs or bonding pairs. As you can see, this is the share pairs. <laughs> the balance of uh, attractive or uh, and repulsive force <laughs> between atoms when they share electrons is known as covalent bond. Actually, they have uh, there are many types of covalent bond. Included a uh, sigma bonding, pi bonding, and also the normal one that we know is uh, non-metal to non-metal. The sigma bonding and pi bonding, I'm not going to explain because that one is a very complex. Uh, okay. Okay. Difference between solid, liquid, and gas. <clears throat> As we all know, solid, the atoms in the solid is, uh, I mean, are closely packed. They have a fixed uh, shape and also fixed volume. For liquid, the atoms are randomly randomly arranged, but not too far. Means that uh, maybe the solid is like this, or liquid is like this. Okay. <coughs> uh, liquid doesn't have a fixed uh, shape. It takes the shape of the container. <coughs> okay. The last one is gas. Gas have much more randomly arranged uh, arranged atoms than either solid or liquid. So, it means that it has the weakest, uh, weakest uh, bond compared with solid and liquid. Okay? So, for example, when I'm holding my hand uh, with full energy, if you want to broke, uh, break my hand, you have to use more energy. So, for, for liquid, I use lesser energy. So, you can break it easily compared with uh, the first example. So, the last one, I never use uh, any energy, so you can break it easily. Okay, so the uh, same goes to the solid, liquid, and gas. <laughs> this is the example, the figure: solid, liquid, and gas. This one is closely packed. This one is randomly arranged, but not too far. That one is completely uh, randomly arranged. Any doubts? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thank you.